Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about what is one lake in Microsoft Fabric and how it differs with the data lake Gen 2. Even though one lake is built on top of Gen 2, right? As we discussed in the previous videos. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I would suggest to check out my previous videos and then come and watch this video so that you will understand easily. So one lake is a single unified logical data lake for your whole organization. Like OneDrive, OneLake comes automatically with every Microsoft Fabric tenant and is designed to be the single place for all the data or maybe for all the analytics data. Okay, OneLake brings customers like one data lake for the entire organization and one data or one copy of data for use with multiple analytics engine. So as you can see over here in this uh, diagram, right? You can see this diagram, correct. So here, if you can see, we have data factory, Synapse data engineering, Synapse data science, Synapse data warehouse, analytics, data time, real time analytics, Power BI and data activator. So every, I mean, all these things are taking data from the one lake, only one, I mean, single one lake, not a you know, multiple one lake, right? And we can store like different kind of data over here. Let's say my project is uh, related to Amazon, right? Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime, right? So I can, you know, keep the data in, in one of the workspace. And let's say your project is based on uh, Amazon Music, right? So you will also keep the data into one one lake only, I mean a single one lake, but in a different container or we maybe you know a different workspace. So we'll talk about this in in, a, in 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 simple terms so that you will understand it easily. So for that, what I'll do, I'll go back to my uh, you know uh, <coughs> my here, right? So ideally. Uh, if you already know about the Azure, right, and if you worked on some basic project of Azure Data Engineering, so there you might have uh, worked on a Gen 2, right, a Gen 2. Gen 2 means ADLS, Azure Data Lake Storage, right. So there, suppose as I, as I told you that uh, I am the person who who wants to you know uh, make a report or who wants to process the data uh, for the amazon amazon uh, uh, you know amazon e-commerce website e-commerce website and you are the person who is working for the amazon but for the music and then amazon warehouse you know where where they keep all the data i mean not data uh, all the you know objects or you know goods and everything right so we have three kind of business which has to be run or the data which has to be stored in the gen 2 so maybe for that what what may what we what we can do is that you know we create a separate gen 2 account for that for this also we can create a separate gen2 account for this we can create a separate gen2 account okay many company follow this architecture right and inside this we, we can have like you know silver layer or you know uh, like gold layer or you know that uh, bronze layer and and also we can keep multiple containers over here but in future suppose just Bef uh, Jeff Bezos, right? The CEO name is Jeff Bezos. Suppose he wants to know, he wants to know that I want to know all the data, right? For that, and he is a very top level person, right? So he is not gonna gonna come and see the data here. He is not gonna come and see data here. He is not gonna come here and see the data. Nothing like that, right? Because he is a very top level person, he, he, he does not have that much time to see and look the data and you know maybe do some, uh, some join to, to get the data into single place. Also, you will suppose there are some set of pupils or groups who, to whom you want to give the access, right? So you will give the access to this, to this, to this and blah, 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 right? So ideally it is not good. 
if you if you think about you know a uh, very you know in a, at a at a top level and also there is a drawback is that drawback is that suppose might be some data might be some data which is present in amazon e-commerce is present in the amazon music also maybe some country related data or the you know uh, uh, country you can assume date related data something like that right the same thing can happen also in amazon warehouse for the thing also and suppose in future if i am saying ki hey i want to i want to uh, take i mean this amazon music uh, business wants to take data from amazon e-commerce maybe i'm just giving an example right then you have to uh, ask the permission you have to connect with some you know url and you know other stuff and then take the access and then you can copy the data into your amazon music data lake right so that's a very long process right so and if we use one lake then what will happen suppose you have one lake and then we have here different workspaces right like i have created different workspaces let's say i created dev geek coders and then i created geek a uh, coders workspace suppose uh, this is uh, this is a prod prod workspace something like that you can assume right now this is a, this is my project i am saying this is your project this is some third person project let's say you can assume ki this is amazon uh, e-commerce website ka project this is amazon uh, you know music store and this is amazon warehouse right now this all these things comes into one lake only one lake only right and inside that you can create your own lake house you can you know uh, uh, create tables files you can store everything like that you can do the same stuff okay so you can assume workspace as a container okay workspace as a container workspace as a container okay so if we use here one leg then uh, you know we do not need to create a separate accounts Of, I mean, separate Gen Two accounts, right? Now you may be uh, asking or telling, or you know, you have a doubt that hey, Saga, we can also do the same thing into the Gen Two, right? Like you know, we can create a single Gen Two account, and then we can create here a, a containers and all. But if you think about the data governance rule, right? Then it is not recommended, and the, because see, you are the person. Uh, uh who's hand handling some different uh, domain i mean different business right and why do you want to keep the same data into a single place where this data can be shown or can be used by some other person or some other uh you know vertical like that right so ideally we can do if it is a very short com i mean small company then we can also go with this but if i mean what i am just telling about what is written in a documentation right so uh, you know it is ideally recommended to use a separate accounts but you know uh, you can also use a single account also if it is a very small company or small project now this is a one lake right you you might have understood this and it's a very simple thing and uh, that's what you know here it is written customer history that finance and then you know uh, other stuff workspace a may we have this the these two things and in workspace b we have some different kind of data right now one lake is open at every level one lake is built on top of azure data lake storage adls gen 2 and can support any type of file structured or unstructured all fabric data items like data warehouse data lake lake houses store their data automatically in one lake in delta packet format okay point to be noted delta packet format okay if a data engineer loads data into a lake house using spark and then a sql developer uses t sql to load the data in a fully transactional data warehouse both are contributing to the same data lake 
point to be noted one lake stores all tabular data in the delta packet format only so if you already know delta delta uh, delta uh, delta tables right then you will easily understand all the microsoft features like you know you you do not need to uh, understand then coding and other stuff right because mostly 90% things will be similar okay now if i just go here and do some practical so you can see that you know if i go to workspace so in the previous videos i have i had created two workspaces right dev underscore geek coders and then this geek coders and this is my workspace right so totally we have three workspaces over here correct now if i go to here dev uh, dev underscore geek coders you know at that time you know i created a lake a lake house and by default the cementing model and sql and analytics endpoint was created it is by default right so now let's create a new uh, not new i can upload the data no not like this suppose i am saying i am going to create a new lake house or uh, if i also open this you can see here we have tables and files right now i am saying to upload the data so what i can do i can go here i can directly upload the files over here see i can upload the files and also i have upload the i i can upload the folders also so let me just you know remove this i was just doing a practice so let me take a file let's say this dot csv file i'm going to take if it is already exist then you can you know check this option otherwise it's okay correct now we have this thing uploaded correct also if you click over here you can see we have the properties option so this is the url this is the relative path this is the abfs path so maybe you know you can uh, uh, connect connect uh, abfs path a one lake path in the data lake also you can you know not data lake in a data bricks to create a mount point at all we can see that you know in future videos cool and here you can see this load to tables option so currently we do not have any table right and this is a file now if you want to load this data as a table then you have to choose it create a new table if you want to change the name you can change the name or you know you you can just uh, column header uh, use header for column names if you want to use this otherwise you know leave it blank separator is uh, you know comma by default if you want to use some other thing then you can use it right and just simply load it now you will see after some times the data will be present as a table format so that you can just you know play with this data right so chalo well we'll just see and it will take some seconds some minutes depends on the uh, size of the data yep right now i am previewing it and if i open it then you can see we have team name discipline country event like we have these four columns correct and if you want to open this in notebook like you know view files maintenance like everything is present over here i'm also new to this right now see view files means when it loaded the data into the tables it converted into a snappy packet format am i right yeah it's snappy packet and this is a delta delta uh, delta format so ideally if it is not a fabric account right so you must have written a code like spark dot read dot csv this and then df dot write df dot write or you know uh, df dot write into this uh, you know into some 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 sync location and then on top of that might be you 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 create this table right i hope that you know this concept in databricks of pyspec if you do not know then don't worry i will you know i will tell you correct so see now this is the all this is also the data correct so that's what you know i meant to i wanted to understand you ki you know this way we can you know load the data and what is the use of one lake so if anyone is asking hey what is the use of one lake why you are creating one lake at least we should know right ki what is the what is the use of why we are doing this so the same thing is written over here if you just read these these things then you will understand it properly
right so we do not need to create a multiple accounts and rather than we can create a multiple workspaces what we I mean the which we can do easily and then these workspaces will act as a container okay and we have to store only one copy of data we, we should not you know create multiple uh, copy of data into like data warehouse may you are you are you are copying again the data then sql may ho gaya and then you know likewise you know you are you are copying the data in data lake then you know uh, then uh, we can say a uh, blob containers right so those things you know we are rid of and then we just save the data into one thing that is called one lake and on top of one lake we can you know leverage the, i mean we 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 can leverage these data and you know use in some different uh, different uh, things like in data factories data engineering data science and other stuff right i hope that you have understood if you like it please share this course with your friends with your linkedin so that everyone can understand it and the price is very nominal and um, after completing this all the tutorials i will be making a project on top of this data i mean microsoft fabric right so chalo thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture